I mean, if you're a musician, nothing works. I mean, you know, I mean, what can I say? I'll be honest. It's, it's basically everybody loves music, but it's a real mystery as to how you make a living. You know, it's like you're somewhere between like God and a dishwasher. You know what I mean? And the actual nuts and bolts of making a living as a musician, because our society is especially the music portion of the society, it's geared toward marketing mediocrity. And I don't mean that in a, in a point of like, I mean it mediocre in the actual like Latin sense of the word, which, which means like the common middle, you know? And that's, marketing mediocrity is like the easiest thing to do in a lot of ways. It's easy to, to be a very mediocre musician if you have a lot of money behind you and you can, you know, paper the marketplace, so to speak. If, if you're striving towards excellence, it's like one of the hardest things to maintain a career that is a, an honest career, you know? Um, and I have been in places where, you know, I've been in these massive rock star situations and, you know, things like that. But when you actually do the math, number one, the scene was lacking. It's not, those aren't really the coolest people to hang out with, to be totally honest. Those are usually the people you want to avoid after about five minutes and all their hangers on. And if you're not the guy, you're not making any money doing that, you know? So early on, I was like, okay, I need to disabuse myself of that notion, you know? And, and I've seen these people go up and come down, you know? And basically, what it came down to for me was, was like, what are um, professions that I respect and what do they make? Well, school teachers, um, you know, professors, you know, doc, not a doctor as much, because I, I, I'm not thinking about making that much money, but like, you know, um, someone who, who does like a respectable profession, electrician, a plumber, you know, what do those people make? You know, what does like a physical therapist make, you know? And, and I figured that, it's like, you know what? I love what I do, I'll be happy to make that kind of money and pay my bills, hopefully, you know, get my kids to school and, and get to practice every day and play music and play the kind of music that I like to play for the people that I like to play for, generally. And then I realized, I just came to the point, like, you know what, I'm doing exactly what all of my idols did. They all got in a car and drove around and played gigs on their own terms, you know. I mean, people don't realize, like John Coltrane, you think of a Love Supreme, wow, the seminal record, blah, 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 blah. He, play, he did that record in like three days, got paid $240, put all of his equipment in a station wagon with his band and drove to LA from New York for a one-week engagement. See, Duke Ellington was going around in a, in a bus, you know. B.B. King couldn't get a gig for 10 years, for crying out loud. So, you know, I mean, that's how I think about music. It's like... It's not a profession to get into if you want to. I mean, if you want to be an excellent musician, then you, you can, if you work really, really hard, and um, it's, it's an incredibly impacted area to work in. And it's like, if you, if you can go with your favorite music in your headphones and push a van uphill with the brakes on, while people throwing rocks at you, and you can still enjoy it, then this is for you. If it's not, then don't do it. Just don't do it. And, but I say that not in any negativity. I'm just saying that that's, you have to have that in you, and there's no fault of yours if you don't. That's totally fine. You know, that's, that's totally okay. But, you know, it's just, it's just a lot, a lot, lot of work. And, but on the other side of it, you, you do what you really love and you really have a calling for, and uh, I think it keeps you young, you know? 